this is a Dell machine, Dell Vostro. Uh, it is finding challenges in booting up. It is showing a yellow LED. So this means a it has a failure somewhere. It could be a power issue, but it is probably not a power issue. So in this video, let me show you how to fix this yellow light without replacing anything in your unit. So it means there is faulty installation of the equipment. It could be the RAM or maybe the hard drive or maybe somewhere else on the board. But the power supply, as you can see, it is completely new, no damage. And the machine is also new, but it is failing to boot up. So in this video, all you have to do is to dismantle the units and also and also change everything so you reconnect it and also reset the jumper jumper switches where are they these are the jumper switches so you remove it for some time and place it back so that way you'll be able to start this machine as you can see it is powering on without the yellow light that it was blinking previously so make sure you leave this machine in power and also replace this CMOS battery this machine probably has a failure somewhere so it is lighting a yellow LED so that means it has a problem somewhere so the yellow light is called the line of light of death the orange light of death so this machine failed to boot but the fans are swinging and everything is working normally but it is not lighting anywhere that's probably a power issue to the whole motherboard but the hard disk led should be working so initially it wasn't working so i fixed this machine earlier then in this video i'm going to show you how i made it to fix the disk the, the the desktop so that you could be able to have your desktop working with everything without replacing anything so don't worry this is the nice one everything will work normally so replacing the CMOS you have to change the, the, the jump start switch you remove it and then you dismantle each and everything so that's all about power failure in this machine so it's new as you can see it's even still glossy so replacing it is the best solution without damaging the components so make sure you know each and every cables dismantle properly and also reconnect them from the hard drive everything so probably this issue is caused by leaving the machine for so long that's why it fails to power on but as long as you put it in power for some time it will boot it normally takes two minutes so that's why it fails because this battery has no power yes so check out the video and see